Patrick, start if you would please by giving me a quick potted history of, of Danagas and uh, your, your prospects today. Well, Danagas, uh, as far as our assets in Egypt are concerned, uh, really the story started in 2007 when the company bought the assets of the Centurion uh, in, in Egypt on, in, on shore the Nile Delta. Since that time, the company has drilled 48 exploration wells with a 67% uh, success rate. Uh, and that resu has resulted in a 25 new uh, pool of uh, discoveries uh, to our portfolio, which is, uh, I think, an amazing success rate. We've increased 2P reserves by 120%. We increased production by 50%. Uh, and we've added, in total, from all of our concessions, uh, just short of, uh, of a trillion cubic feet of gas equivalent of, of additional reserves. So I think that's been a great exploration success story. We still have further uh, success or further exploration potential to go. Uh, we have, uh, beneath our existing development leases, um, a play in the Kantara, which is the Lower Miocene. We have two very exciting prospects there, uh, rather enchantingly called Lina and Dina, um, with great amplitude support, so we're very excited about those. And then even deeper still in the Oligocene, we, we still have a very large um, a, a, um, Oligocene uh, prospect. Uh, and these prospects uh, potentially could have success volumes in the in the quarter to the one one and a half uh, trillion cubic feet uh, scale. So these are these are quite sizable uh, additional growth opportunities. And then we have a joint venture with BP uh, in Block Three, which is the uh, El Mataria uh, concession area, which lies to the west of our existing development leases. Uh, and uh, BP is the operator, but we're hoping to drill a, an exploration well uh, there, at least one this year, and potentially one very shortly thereafter at the beginning of next year. Uh, we've heard a lot over the past couple of days about Africa and the potential in Africa, and it, it really does seem that it's, it's very much a land of opportunity at the moment, especially gas has been particularly strong in Africa recently. Yeah, so we're very excited because we also have an offshore concession area. Uh, it's called Block 6, or North El Arish. Uh, we applied for that block back in 2012 at a time when most other companies in Egypt were thinking of divesting, uh, but we saw the potential of this uh, deep water block uh, and uh, were successful and uh, signed the, uh, the concession area with the government in uh, February of 2014. We acquired nearly 2,000 square kilometers of 3D seismic survey over the deep water part of the block, which had never been covered in seismic data before. Uh, and as a result of the evaluation process that we've carried out since then, we've established the presence of at least three multi-trillion cubic feet potential uh, prospects. Um, the, first of the, the first two of those, that's uh, Merak and Galena, are uh, Miocene and Oligocene turbidite plays, uh, very similar to the very successful plays that have been drilled out in the Nile Delta, uh, and also uh, further to the north and to, uh, and to the east in the East Mediterranean Basin. So we're very excited about those uh, two opportunities. Uh, and we also have, uh, for, for e even better and more exciting still perhaps, is we have a, a further prospect, um, which is a, a Zor lookalike, i.e. IE, it's a kind of a Miocene carbonate uh, build-up play. So the potential altogether of the block uh, could, could amount to around uh, 20 trillion cubic feet. Um, if it all works, you know, it's a big if, I'm an explorer, so uh, you know, there's a lot of risk associated with that, of course. But if it all works out, that's the kind of scale of opportunity that we're looking at, which would be very material for Egypt in terms of their strategic uh, development, and, and particularly their ambitions to, um, uh, to become the regional gas hub. And uh, this will obviously be a major contribution to that, also transformational uh, for Dana Gas, of course. And what's very exciting for us is that we've just budded the first well, the Merak well, on the 20th of May. This is a 60 to 70 day uh, uh, exploration well, so we will have the results of that first well uh, by the middle of the year. Egypt, a good place to operate in, has it been successful for, for Danagas? Well, it, it, there have been, of course, uh, challenges uh, in Egypt, uh, particularly related to, uh, to uh, overdue receivables and payments. Um, uh, but, I mean, the one, the one reassuring thing about operating in Egypt, even through the depth of the crisis, uh, you know, 2011 uh, you know, until 2013, was that at no point was there any challenge to the contractual uh, structures of the, of the concession agreements. Uh, they were solid. Uh, the government has respected all of the terms of those agreements. 
they've been short of cash and have therefore not been able to pay and they've requested uh, companies like us to be patient and we have been very patient but and, and now things as, as the macroeconomic uh, situation improves generally in Egypt uh, now the the government is paying out the uh, the receivables owed to the petroleum industry as a whole with a commitment to actually have all of those repaid uh, before the end of the year gas is a uh, playing a major part of the the energy picture in Africa at the moment isn't it Absolutely. I mean, I'm you know, Dana Gas, so we are we are a gas-focused uh, company. Obviously, um, clearly, we think we're very well positioned uh, as a company um, in in the fact that we are focused on on gas as a as a, as a hydrocarbon uh, stream. But it is also very much in the narrative at the moment of uh, you know of, of of the lower carbon future and uh, energy transition, because for sure, in our view at least, gas is going to be an absolutely essential. Uh, fuel that will be needed to continue to supply energy for the for the growing population of the planet, uh, particularly in Africa, but also bringing people out of poverty and into um, a higher standards of living. And 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 gas and and electricity, particularly generated from gas, has the opportunity to deliver the energy that's that's needed at the same time as a lower at a lower carbon cost. And success in this industry depends upon collaboration as much as it does anything else. Um, just tell me about the kind of uh, opportunities that you've had over the last couple of days here at the summit and the range of people that have been here that uh, you've been able to interact with. Well, one of the things that, that I found um, you know, quite um, uh, eye-opening to some extent but, uh, but also very uh, uplifting was the general recognition of the importance of um, collaboration with host governments and, and, and if I can use Egypt then as an, as an example of that um, although it doesn't uh, it doesn't necessarily apply to us uh, the example I think is very pertinent and that is the Zora discovery that ENI made in 2015 and at the time they said they were going to bring first gas uh, from that discovery within two years and and I come from a 30-year background working in Shell and I and I, I fell off my chair laughing and said there's absolutely no way they're going to be able to do that but they did and they did that by close collaboration with government, by sorting out, for example, gas pricing issues to make sure that the project was economically viable. Uh, they sorted it out in the form of new contractual uh, uh, obligations or, or the way in which contracting uh, could be done in order to fast track uh, development and to make sure that the fiscal env overall fiscal environment was conducive to making it a win-win uh, investment for both the private sector and for the government. Um, and just finally, a comment on the on the summit. Has it been a, a good two days? It's been a, it's been a great great two days. Um, I was only made aware of the summit this year. Um, uh, it was fairly late in the day, but I was delighted that uh, that that uh, that I came. Uh, delighted that we were actually able to sponsor as well. Uh, and we've, it's, it's a it's a passionate group of of, of people committed to exploration and production in uh, in in the uh, African space. Uh, and it was a wonderful opportunity to network with some some fellow and like-minded enthusiasts.